Hello? Hello? Who's this? Who's this? What do you want, Pennywise? I want to know if you like balloons. Starbucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Starbucks? What do you think? Look, look, look who's with us. That's how you know where we are. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're either going to be at Lulu or Starbucks. <laughs> So where are we? Your turn. Uh, well, I have to use this the restroom, place. so I'm trying to find a restroom. <laughs> oh my god, Ashley, you're on camera. No pressure. <laughs> so we're at a place called PJ's. Ashley suggested this place after doing a lot of research. And it's got breakfast, it's got lunch, a bunch of specials, and Bay Area prices, apparently. So even though we're in Nevada, we're paying Bay Area prices, right, Ashley? Yep. I don't think like $9 for your French toast is the Bay Area price, but what do I know? Lost how much so far? I lost 80 bucks. This place is ridiculous. Like Vegas never did me like that. Yeah, they did you harder. No, they didn't ever they never did me hard like that. They didn't. And even if they did, they at least gave me like a beer or like a massage or something. I got nothing from this place. At all. So don't come to Reno. What are your thoughts on the fly fishing? I mean, it's, it's not Montana. Working. It's not Montana. Well, he's catching a lot. Oh, look, it's geese. Are you doing photo or video? I was just going to do a video, but. I want to make sure I didn't have any foam in my mustache. Yeah, so what's your take on this place? I would say it's good. I like that it's outside. It's um, easy to get into. Nice when the weather's nice. Right by the river. I mean, I'd give it five stars. Five stars? Yeah, especially after losing $80. In case I haven't mentioned that already. That's going to be a thing. I mean, they really lose it. It was taken from it. So you said that this feels like very Seattle? Yeah. Oh, no, this is like, yeah, I would say this is... This is what Seattle should be, if I'm saying. <laughs> and I think most of it is because Seattle has crap weather all the time. So this is perfect. And the coffee's strong. I got I got my Skittle twin over here. We call her Skittle Lip Gloss. <laughs> Little Skittle. <laughs> Little Skittle. But yeah, this this the joint. Like if you're gonna get eighty dollars stolen from you, this is where you wanna come after. It'll right. cheer you up a little bit. Drink to that. Mmm. Cheers. You know? Like, so, how was your cappuccino? Like, what was your review on it? Like, what's the. It was a good yeah. ratio. They put, um. They put a corgi butt on the top. It's not a heart, it's a corgi butt. You see? But yeah, good ratio. Quick service, 
So compared to a bunch of other cappuccinos we've had, like where would it like be ranked? I'll give it a solid four. Four out of four to five. Okay. Four out of twenty. Four out of five. And service was good, like really friendly, chill, and fast. So I mean, that's all I can ask for. I mean, they weren't really good looking, but you know, I I'm okay as long as you make a good a good ratio. The problem is that most places put way too much milk in it. So this place. They did it right. Right size cups. I'll come back. If you knew what my yesterday was like, you'd be saying, why? Oh, if you knew what... <laughs> I thought you were giving him water for a second, I was like... If you knew what my yesterday was like, you would you would know why I'm not really looking forward to any of this. You so, like silver corn whiskey? Oh, oh, it looks so terrible. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Who is this? This is Pennywise. This is Pennywise. What do you want, Pennywise? I want to know if you like balloons. What if I don't? If you don't like balloons, then I'm going to tell my boy Georgie to come over there. But what if I don't like Georgie? What if you are Georgie? But how is Georgie going to come here if I am Georgie? Well, that's a good question. But... All I know is, you better never, ever not respond to a Pennywise note again. Because Pennywise doesn't like when you shoot down his invitations. But there was no invitation. Um, when I talked to Pennywise, he said that he sent you a note trying to offer you some balloons. No. Yeah? That's not true. I, I think it is, because you sent the note back to my room, and I saw the note from Pennywise. Okay. So you didn't respond to Pennywise's very nice gesture, and he doesn't like when you don't respond to his nice gestures. But I don't like balloons. You might, you might like the kind of balloons Pennywise gives out. Why? Because they're full of dust. Gold dust? No, like angel dust. Oh. Ashley wants to talk to you. She's going to yell at you. Hold on. I don't want to talk to anybody. Just both of you get ready so we can go and talk in person. I'm just next door. Are you ready to go? Oh, no. Huh? No. Oh, my God. Bye. Hey, did, did you get a call? Yeah. What, what did they ask you? Well, it was this guy, he was pranking, pretending to be Pennywise. Don't be getting ready while talking. <laughs> See, it's on camera. We got it on camera. We got it on camera. See how bossy she is? Y'all say I'm the one who's bossy. I am not the one that's bossy. She's the one that's bossy. Uh, you are bossy the second somebody is a minute. No, can I, well, can I say something else that's a problem here? 
the motherfucking Florida Gators <laughs> lost me eighty dollars by one point. That's what I want to say. Half a point. Well, yeah, technically, but I mean, you can't score half a point in football, so it's no. one point. That's all I have to say. Sucks so, to suck. Tim Tebow's on my fucking list. The whole Gators team's on my list. And Ashley's really mad at us for some reason. Like we did something. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh shit, she's darkening the windows. Wait, you're next door? What are the odds? <laughs> 12 to 1. Oh, yeah. This is so weird. Better odds Better than, than the Florida than Georgia, Georgia game, huh? Wait, are you here? <laughs> Where's it going? good everyone as you've probably figured out by now I am NOT in the San Francisco Bay Area um, we actually decided to take a uh, day trip out here to Reno Nevada um, it's a, it was actually a really good day we actually stopped off at a lot of different places I've actually never been to before um, to be honest the only reason why I've ever actually stopped in Reno was just for a hot August nights which is a huge car show um, here in the area but there are some places that I wasn't able to actually kind of review only because they had music playing and I don't want to get hit with any copyright strikes on my page. Um, so there was one spot called the, the Depot, which was actually a pretty nice setup. The food actually looked really good. Um, we didn't eat there because we actually ate at another place before going there, but tried a whiskey flight, which was pretty good. Had a, had like two whiskeys and I think there was a um, the other two were gins so so it was it was interesting it was cool uh, it was nice to try different things at that place um, I definitely recommend anybody looking for a nice little spot for like brunch to like go there because the food that we saw on all the other tables they look like they look legit let me tell you that much so um, walked around and went to different casinos just check different things out uh, the other place that we went to also, which I wasn't able to review, was a place called Balas. Um, I think the, it was, it was kind of weird as far as, uh, that all kind of goes too, just because, uh, then we thought the name of the place was Balas, and then when we got there, it was also called Del Rio. Um, so we were, it was, there was just some sort of identity crisis, and, um, unfortunately, the identity crisis actually kind of transferred over to the food um, just because uh, I mean granted the the staff was extremely nice like I would give them five out of five stars for sure just as far as service goes but as far as the food I'd have to probably give it a hard pass like if someone was like hey I want to go and eat back over there I'd definitely have to just I'd, I'd be against it that's for sure um, the food didn't taste horrible but the thing is, it was definitely kind of like one of those places where it's like, I can kind of tell that you probably like, like this was probably like frozen food that you guys heated up. Like, like I'm just keeping it real. Um, I don't like to give harsh reviews on places because again, it's people's livelihood and them making money. But I mean, I just want to be real with you all. So the other place that we stopped into, uh, PJ's and Company, uh, pretty good food there too. Uh, I ordered, 
two different things I actually ordered the Chunky Monkey pancakes on the short stack so they give you two pancakes as well as um, the other meal just was a bunch of meat and an omelet I, it was like the meat or rama I think or something like that um, the omelet itself was actually pretty good what I'm finding though is that there's a lot of places that kind of I guess they don't maybe make it potatoes to the way I like it but as far as the way that the potatoes kind of tasted to me they were just like a bit hard like they just kind of like weren't fully cooked before they kind of started grilling them I'm not sure I'm I'm probably nitpicking I mean overall the place was really great food was good like I'd definitely be a place I'd like stop back at um, that's just kind of like me like nitpicking about things it could be a personal preference for other people that they actually like their potatoes that way but again that's just how I uh, that's just how I felt about the potatoes. Although, like I said, omelet, bomb. The salsa was pretty good too. Um, and then the, uh, yeah, the Chunky Monkey pancakes were like, they, they were good. They were really good. So all in all, the, uh, the trip was actually really successful overall. Uh, like I said, I mean, hit up some pretty good food spots. Um, as you've probably noticed by now too, I don't drink coffee. Like, you know, there's, my buddies like to go into a few coffee spots and, you know, try little things here and there. So that's the reason why I kind of try to incorporate them on their own reviews um, about the coffee, just because I am not a coffee connoisseur whatsoever. Um, whenever I go into Starbucks, I just get a hot chocolate or maybe like a like a hibiscus refresher. Like, that's pretty much as deep as I usually go. But uh, as far as coffee goes, like, yeah, my, my buddy's definitely more of the coffee connoisseur. But, um, but it was nice walking around, checking out uh, downtown Reno, walking along the creek, which was actually pretty cool. Um, now, it was actually kind of interesting because walking around downtown Reno kind of reminded me of walking around Market Street, um, San Francisco, just because there are actually a good amount of homeless people that actually are on the streets. So if you can walk through Market Street of San Francisco just fine, then uh, you'll definitely walk through downtown Reno okay. But there's definitely going to be certain characters that might kind of kind of raise your awareness a little bit if you know what i'm saying but um overall like i said like no one was crazy no one like approached us uh if anything it was kind of interesting to actually be like told hi by some of the people that might have been under the influence but i mean as long as you're friendly with them they're friendly with you like i just had no issues with that so um casino wise too it was actually kind of interesting because we went into atlantis which i thought was actually going to probably be like one of the better casinos here but after going into circus circus which was c connected to um silver legacy and el dorado like that whole setup was actually pretty dope and then also uh we stopped at the pepper mill which just completely blew my mind just because the pepper mill like just the decor and like the ambiance as well as like all the tvs that they have along the uh the walls and everything like it's definitely that spot was definitely a lot better than like half of the spots that i've been to in vegas like the pepper mill is definitely like the spot so far um from us adventuring around so if anybody ever you know is contemplating whether stopping like staying at the pepper mill or not i'd probably recommend it even though we didn't stay there um we're staying here at the the marriott the courtyard marriott but if anybody has any doubts about staying at the pepper mill I mean, I, I definitely suggest it for sure. But um, that's pretty much just a sum up of the whole day, to be honest. Um, like I said, we didn't do anything like too crazy. Uh, we had like drinks here and there. You know, we just adventured out, just did our own little thing. So um, I actually got to go to sleep now just because we're going to be taking off at like four in the morning so I can get back to the Bay Area uh, for work. So I'll just catch you guys on the next time. Like I said, I'm going to try to be a lot more consistent with these. Um, just so that way you guys kind of know like what's going on and hopefully provide more value as far as from a traveling or even photography standpoint. So, all right, everybody, peace.